What's going on, everybody? My name is Jeans, bringing you guys part 14 for my 100% playthrough on The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. As always, if you do enjoy the video, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget, guys, check me out on Twitch at Jeans25 as I stream four days a week. Link will be in the description below. So guys, in the last episode, we actually collected a bunch of seashells, piece of heart and all that, and obtained the face key from the ancient ruins. But in this episode, we're going to be starting our fifth, fourth, sixth? <laughs> um, let's check it out. I think it's the sixth dungeon, right? Yeah, our sixth dungeon, the face shrine. So first off, we're going to head off to the left over here. But this dungeon is actually pretty awesome. It's pretty cool. Considering it's a huge dungeon, I will show you guys it when we get the map. But we got these new enemies right here. They shoot like these lightning bolts at us. But so what we want to do is actually stun them with the hook shot. If I can get one off. What the heck? There we go. Once we stun them with the hook shot, we can actually go up to them. And once they pop up, we can throw them at each other. Because they are, what's it called? Oh, jeez. Because they don't take hits from your sword, which is pretty crazy. But we're going to stun this guy, throw this, and then bring out our bow. Because our bow actually does work with them. There we go. So you cannot actually hit these guys with your... With your sword, you can only do them with like the bow and themselves. So we're gonna be sitting here making our way up this way. We got these little shy guys again. What we gotta do is actually turn the other way to whap on them. We're actually gonna do th this real quick. We're gonna grab ourselves our bombs out real quick. We're gonna drop a bomb and then head our way into here. Because when we do that, we'll actually open up a different pathway. Oh, we're gonna take that guy a bomb up this wall right here. Yee, baby. So you guys will see later why we actually did that little putting the bomb to hit the switch. But we're gonna come over here, start whapping on all these chews over here in this little dark little alleyway right here. And it's actually gonna, we're gonna push this. No, we cannot push this. We actually didn't get that guy. Come on, Jeej, you're better than that. So we're gonna make our way over this way, hit this last chew, and look what comes out of here. Let's go, we got a nice little stairwell to actually lead us to a secret area. So we're gonna run with our Pegasus boots right down there, let's get it. And look at these guys, we got the Goompas and all that. We're actually gonna bring out our Rock's Feather. We're gonna squeeze on over here, but we got Goompas and like these slime balls right here. Like, look at those things, these things are crazy. We're gonna do a Pegasus long jump, <gasps> no! What the heck? Now we've got these slime balls on us, which is not, which is, they're all right. They just do damage. You can't really kill them, though. They just kind of bounce around and pester you a lot. But we're going to make our way over here, kill these little caterpillar dudes, and muff up these dudes. we got to bring out my hook shot. we got a lot of uh, changing to do, like switching through a lot of items. So we're going to stun this guy. Dude, those guys are annoying. I'm letting you guys know that now. They just throw a bunch of magic at you. And, like, rip them up with the bow. They take two shots. We're going to need more arrows and bombs, considering we're down to ten each about. Which is pretty crazy. But we're going to come up here and actually grab ourselves this item right here. Which is the the item for the dungeon. This is the powerful bracelet. You feel like you can lift an, ele an elephant. So we actually had the power bracelet before. But now we have the powerful bracelet. So now we can lift heavier items. But if you actually come over to this pot right here. You can break it. Bring out your bottle if you want to capture yourself this fairy right here. And that is exactly what we are going to do for later use in this dungeon in case we need it. But we're going to sit back here, switch back our items back to the hookshot because I think the hookshot and the bow and arrow is what we are going to use the most here. But we can actually lift up these elephant statues now and do a lot of work on them. But, yo, what you want, fool? I'm going to sit here and chop up this fool. We're going to hit this switch. We're going to bring back out the bombs. Like I said, guys, we have a lot of switching to do. We're going to go back and forth switching items and all that. So let's switch back to the hookshot real quick. And bang, blow up that wall. We can actually make our way over here and chop up all these enemies right here. But in order to open that door to the left, we have to hit this switch real quick. We're going to grab this heart and then move along. Let's go, baby. Dude, this dungeon is absolutely huge. Hey, knock it off. I'll show you guys how big it is when we actually get the map. We're going to stun this guy. What you fools want? Go ahead, pop up again. Oh, what you want? You got this guy. You, oh, are you kidding me? So you cannot actually kill him with your sword. Stun this guy. What you want? Dip? Come on, go ahead. Cool, there's more arrows right there too. There you go. We kill him. We're going to light this guy up with the arrows. Bring out Rock's Feather real quick. I want to hop up and grab these arrows. Bring back out our bow because we can actually shoot over top this right here. So wait for this guy to come. Yeet. Oh, we need one more hit on him. What you want, fool? Why am I even killing these guys? I don't even think we have to, but we're going to kill it. There we go. He's dead. Oh, we did have to kill him. I was going to say, I don't think we have to kill him, but there is a chest just chilling here that we are going to grab real quick and switch back over to this and that. There we go. So... Let's go. What we got in this chest? The dungeon map. So let me show you guys how big this dungeon actually is. It is crazy. Look at it. Look how many fours we got to do. We got a lot to do right here. So we're just going to keep moving along here. What's up here? We got these hearts and all that. Oh, my God. We got to bring back out Rock's Feather, which is crazy. Get out. Out of here. Get out of here. What you want? What you want, fools? We're actually going to make our way over this way to start us off here. And we got ourselves a nice little chest just chilling right here. Let's grab it and see what we got. 
boom, we get the stone beak, which actually is just, just for hints if you don't know what you're doing in these dungeons. So if you see an owl, you can actually place it inside of him, and he will actually give you a hint of what to do. But we got these pot doors that we can actually open up just like that and make our way over this way and grab this chest right here. What you want, fool? Get out of here. Let's grab this chest, and we also get the compass, which is awesome. So the compass now lets us see all the chests. So now that we have the dungeon map and the compass, we can fully see the map and everything that are, there is to collect. See, look at everything. Look how big it is. There's so many rooms and all that. But we're going to get cranking all this out. Did we hit the switch? I think we hit the switch. And we're going to grab ourselves these bombs right here because we're going to need them later. Let's make our way this way. Actually, running with our Pegasus boots. Let's go. Let's go. E -e -e. Making our way up here, we got another compass thing right here. Oh, we need a hook shot. We actually have it out again. And we're going to need a bow in just a second. What the heck? Stun him. All right, so we lift this punk up. Get away from me, fire thing. E -e. Bring out our bow once again. Oh, come on. Can't be wasting our arrow shots like that. But this will drop us a small key that we will need. Let's get it. Dude, nine arrows left. We need to find some more. There's got to be, like, extra batches because I know we're going to need them later. Because there are a lot of those enemies that we got to take out with them. But let's run this way. Dude, the red mail, the red tunic is just awesome, dude. I love it so much. It just, it was a good choice rather than defense considering we have so many hearts and all that. It's just nice to have that double damage just to get ripping on pools. Let's bring out Rock's Feather again. So we can hop over anything and everything. We're actually going to make our way here. Lift up this elephant. And these elephants can be used as like a pot and all that. Let's go up here. Grab ourselves this chest real quick. And what's inside of it? What we got? We got some rupees. There are actually tons of rupees in here too. A lot of chests filled with rupees. But we can make our way up these stairs. Which is actually pretty cool. This is actually probably my favorite part of this dungeon. As it leads outside into a chest with a seashell in it. But I just like this whole atmosphere around us right now. Like It's like watery rapids and it looks all tropical. So it's so cool. But we can't do anything here. We can just admire it. That's just about it for right now. But we're going to make our way out here. And in order to open that door, you see we got like, these little chest pieces. And what we got to do is throw these boys. And they bounce towards where they're facing, I believe. So you actually have to throw them like a tile behind. And bang, they will land in their spot. So which one is this facing? This is facing that way so we're gonna throw it there bang it's gonna bounce that way and open up this door for us once again let's get grooving along here which way do i want to go i actually want to head back this way i need rocks feather to hop over this fool and once we head back this way hey what you guys want wait did we head let me check out the map real quick did we head we, we head this way and we head that way okay so what we want to do is actually head back this way and along this path and down here to the right okay i got it got it got it cool 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 oh wait i want these hearts <laughs> there we go like I said, dude, this dungeon is so big, it's easy to get lost in. Hey, more arrows! Let's get it. We're gonna hit this thing right here. Are you kidding me? We're actually gonna hit this again like that. And then we're gonna get on top of this, bring out our bow once again, and shoot that, switch that up in order for us to make our way back out this way. Jeez, man, jeez! And head this way. Are you kidding me? We cannot make our way back here? Oh my god, what are we gonna have to do? Do we have to get in here? We're actually going to shoot. Shoot our. Can we shoot our bow? Oh, that's a hook shot. We're going to shoot our bow this way, then hop over here. There we go. So now we can make our way down this way and out of here. So what you want, fools? What you want? Am I heading the right way on the map? Let's check the map once again. Mm -hmm. We're going to want to head this way, right to the right here and down here. But we cannot without breaking this door open, which now we can with the more powerful bracelet. We can use it to break this open. Actually collect a bunch of things. Give me my rock's feather again. <laughs> We can grab this chest right here and then break that door open with the elephant. Like I said, tons of rupees here and very hectic dungeon, but probably the most challenging one in my opinion. Because this game has really taken a step up in the dungeons in difficulty since the beginning. Like the beginning we were just walking through dungeons. It was like five rooms we were done. This one's like 30 rooms. Gotta collect all these different items and all that. But I believe that finishes up everything for the left side. Now we can actually head back to the beginning over here and move on to the right side. Let's take one more look at the map. Might have keep hitting the wrong one. Yeah, look at that. We just crushed it over there. And now we can actually head this way. So let's see what we got over here. What you want? So let's use Rock's Feather. These things are going to come across here. We're just going to hop over them and make our way across this way. And we actually got this cool little challenge room right here where these tiles actually start spinning at us. And what we have to do is actually just take them all out one by one as they spin. Not too hard. Not too difficult. Just pretty, just a pretty cool like little, little design to this floor. What you fools want? Get out of here. And there we go. Once you destroy all them, you can actually make your way into the next thing. And then make your way over here. We have a small key, but what we want to actually do first is actually head this way. Yay, more arrows! Actually, oh my lord, dude, did you see how much they ripped us up there? Okay, we're going to start off like this to save arrows. Can I stun one of them? Who wants it? You want it down here, don't you? What? Didn't we just light him up? There we go. Okay, now we can pick this fool up. Luckily, they don't do too much damage. Take him out with the other one. 
This will actually save us a bunch of arrows. Oh, what? What? <laughs> Dude's ripping us up. Get out of here. <laughs> You're dead. Pick this guy up one more time. <laughs> there we go. And now take out this guy with the arrows. Get out of here. Off me. Get off me. What? Which way should I head? Which way should I head? We're going to actually head to this uh, down path. What's down here? Uh, nothing we can really do down here. But how do we get out of here now? We got to destroy these fools. There we go. I guess we got to destroy these fools in order to get out of here. But we can't really do anything. I believe that chest is actually... We cannot really obtain it because I believe there's Tracy's special medicine in there. And since we already have it, it's like, why even bother, like, getting it again? It won't give us it because we already have it. But we can actually make our way this way using our Pegasus boots to speed things up just a little bit and stab all these bugs. And open up the chest, which will give us another small key that will come in handy later in this dungeon. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. But, yo, before... I even move on, yo, go down there, scroll down a little bit, smash that like button for me, it means a lot, guys. Seriously, all the likes and the comments and all that helps out tremendously, so keep up the good work, guys. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. Let's keep moving along here, we're gonna go over here, and we're gonna go make our way up here now, now, now that we have two small keys. Now what, all these deadly red shoes, what you fools want? We're gonna do that, we're gonna bring out our bombs. Once again, because there's a bomb wall right here. But we're actually gonna lift up these pots, see if there's anything over here. Ooh, extra bombs. Anything over here? Nope, nothing over here. Just an extra heart that we can pick up, and we're actually gonna switch back to our bow. And look at this. We actually make our way here, and we have my favorite mini boss in the whole game. Look at this fool. He's gonna come over here, and he's gonna throw this metal ball at us. And now that we have the powerful bracelet, we can actually pick it up. Hey, no! <laughs> we kind of play dodgeball with it. It is so funny. Look, look, he throws it, goes after it, and then once we get it, he starts running away. Look like, what you want, fool? Yo, this is our thing. Look how funny he looks. <laughs> Get out of here, boy. No, he missed. He's got it. Run. <laughs> he looks so funny with it. Oh, he whipped us with it. Hey, get out of here, boy. You're done. I win. I don't even know what he is. Looks like a tight fish or something. Something that would live in the water. You guys know what I'm saying? Now that we brought out the bottle, we can actually capture ourselves another fairy, which will come in handy. Considering we lost both of our fairies in the last episode, which is pretty crazy. Because we got whooped on by a boss. <laughs> We're going to bring out the hookshot and keep moving along with this dungeon right here. Now that we hit just about the halfway point, actually bring out Rock's Feather now. And if we actually come over here, you can see this tile isn't the same as the right one. So we're going to lift it up and actually unlock this little path right here. Let's get it, baby. And make our way down here. Oh, oh, what you want? We're going to Rock's Feather hop here. Keep going. Let's go, baby. Pegasus boot, long jump. Nope, we missed a long jump. Get on the thing. Get on the ladder. Thank you. <laughs> we're taking mean damage from those spikes. And if we come over here, we you can actually see like these tiles are going to start forming again. If you actually make your way into this corner and just hold up your shield in a diagonal position, you're perfect. You're fine. You're just dandy sitting here, not worrying about these tiles. They can do all they want, but we're just going to keep whapping on them with our shield. Their shield is awesome. But once we destroy, destroy all these tiles, another small key will drop. Look at that. Just awesome. Just dandy. But we're actually going to bring out... Our, oh, we already have Rock's Feather out here. What a hop by Jeans. Can we make our way this way? I think we should make our way this way first off and see what's down here. No, we are not going to go that way. We're actually going to head this way and actually open up this little thing with a small key and make our way up here. Yay. Come here. Come here, big elephant, dude. Let's go. Let's go. I can make our way over to this little chest area. Once again, got to figure out which way they're going to bounce just by pointing them up and seeing how their faces point. So as you can see, this one's going to bounce diagonal that way. Bang, we're going to pick up this one. Face it this way, throw a diagonal that way, and this will actually unlock the door. Should I have gotten something in the other room? Let me check out the map once again. So we were here. If we head down here, no, this is how to head to the boss. Okay, so we're going to head this way down into this little tunnel. Okay, cool. We are going the right way. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. I hope everybody's enjoying this playthrough so far as I am having a grand old time with it. But we got these things that act as thwomps, kind of. Like, kind of like in the Mario thing, they kind of fall down. But if we run quick enough with our Pegasus boots, we actually... Don't even have to bother with them. We just run right past them. Oh, as you guys remember, what was it? Like the second dungeon? We got these bunnies that don't even take damage from our swords and all that. So we're going to have to throw our pods at them. But one of them drops a bomb, which kind of gives us a hint of what, how we should kill these guys. So I'm going to hookshot them, stun them, and then just drop a bomb right on the third bunny in order to destroy it. We're going to pick up this heart. Then we're going to get moving along. Let's go, baby. Let's get it. So now we make our way this way. Ah! We should actually pull out Rock's Feather so we can actually hop over those little things if they come back. Oh my god, this one's coming after us. I'm gonna yeet it that way. Wait for it to bounce back. Do that. Throw his pot. Oh, come on. Throw his pot again. And we are good. We are good. Actually, I want those arrows. 
And now that we're making it into this little thing, we're gonna grab that and head up here and get this item. What is it, baby? Gold rupee. Let's get it. 300 extra rupees. Now we have enough to actually go and buy. Well, we had enough, but we have plenty now to actually go and buy the... The, what, what was it called? The piece of heart in that shop. If you guys remember, the shop in uh, Mabe Village. Because it, it was pretty expensive. Oh, we're bouncing it the wrong way. Oh, what's going on here? Can we stand here? Oh, it bounces that way. Can we throw it at that tile? Oh, get on there. No, I think we actually had to. Because if we stand this way. No, we actually have to stand up here, it looks like. No, dude. Dang it. <laughs> we're going to stand back a little bit farther. Eat. Oh, that was money. Let's get it. That will actually unlock the door once again after we got that gold rupee. That was definitely worth this all long haul right here. Oh, I thought I hit my rock's feather jump. Take this pot. Break that one. Oh, we better run. Oh, dude, they're, they're cornering us right here. All right, wait for this one to come back. Yeet. We can make our way out of here and start making our way towards the end of this dungeon as we are actually getting almost done this dungeon. Let's see everything. Let's see. So we got this path. We actually have to head down this way because we haven't head down this way yet. And we got these little caterpillars again from the fourth dungeon, I believe. And as you remember, we have to place bombs on them because that's how they eat and everything. All right, we're going to place it right here. He's coming this way. You, you coming this way, buddy? Yeah, eat those bombs. You coming this way? Which way are you going? Oh, he shook his head. He said no. That was a bad drop. <laughs> yeah, we're just hugging these bombs. He's coming this way again. Good. Nom, 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 nom. Which way are you going, buddy? You're coming this way now. You have to kind of force them into areas where they can only move one way. So we'll see where this guy is moving. So if he moves that way, he's going to move this way, I believe. Yep, there we go. Just got him there, and he is all done. This guy's going to move straight forward, so we're just going to leave the last bomb right here. He's going to eat it. Mwah! Dead. That quickly, now that we know their mechanics and everything. But since we're full on fairies, we're just going to take one right here. And is there anything over here? Let's bring out Rock's Feather once again. Make this hop right here. And what we got up here? This is just nothing. This is just a way to get to the other side real quick. But we're going to make our way through here. And I believe... Yeah, we need a hookshot. And we can use our last small key right here in order to open up this pathway right here. In order to get, I believe, the last chest in this dungeon, right? Is this the last chest? Let's see. Let's see. Let's check out the map. Is this the last chest? Yes, it is. Because we... Like I said, this is Tracy's medicine. So that's nothing in it. We can actually grab the last chest. And it's not opening for some reason. So you're like, what the heck? What's going on? You actually pick up a pot. And you slam it on there and it'll open up and give us the nightmare key. I know that because I played this game before. Well, not this one, the original one. But you can actually learn it from the stone beak right there. He will actually give you a hint right there and tell us everything that we need to know. But we can actually make our way this way and just hop straight down here because it's the only way to go. We can start making our way to the boss store and finishing up this sixth dungeon. Let's go. We are almost done this game, guys. Like, it's crazy. We have one more dungeon left. One more instrument besides this one, which is just awesome. Oh, leave me alone. Leave me alone. So let's actually check out the map and see which way we have to go. So, guys, what we actually want to do is actually make our way back to the entrance or not back to the entrance. But this is just the quickest way for me right now. And actually warp back to this little point right here and make it to the room up here. Because I believe this room right here is actually the room that we want to go into that leads to the boss place. Oh, jeez. We actually have to head back up here. Because this punk, Asaurus Rex over here, did us dirty. But we can start hopping our way this way. Do another Pegasus boot long jump. Get it. Yee, baby. And we can climb our way up here. I believe this is the floor we want to go to. Is this the one we want to go to? Yes, it is. So now we can actually head down this way and actually finish up all this. So in order to unlock these swords, we have to kill all the Chews. So we have to make them all spawn. There are four of them right there. They are all dead. Opening up this last door right here. Let me out. Let me out. There we go. Now we have to finish off this enemy. So what we want to do is actually... Oh, my bad. We actually want to stun this. How did we stun him? Yeah, this laser guy's annoying too in the corner. How are we stunning him? I guess we have to choose that like the perfect time. So... Oh, you punk. You punk. The laser guy sniped us. Get out of here, laser guy. Oh, my lord. And we can actually stun that guy and throw him into that little abyss right there. And then make our way around here. Dang, dude. That thing's annoying. But there we go. Making our way to the boss store. We're actually going to bring out our bombs because these are the weapons that we are going to have to use for this boss fight. So let's make our way in here and see what's up. Look at this guy. The boss is a face. <laughs> Look at him blinking with his beady eyes. Hey, tell me. Need a hint? My weak point is... Whoops. There I go, talking too much again. Oh, this is Spacade. This is the final, well, not the final boss. This is the boss first time. So what we have to do is actually drop a bomb right on his face and dodge all these tiles all around. So actually, what I want to do is actually switch this, have Rock's Feather out to dodge a lot of things. So he's going to spawn again or like put his face up again. We're about to use a fairy real quick, just in case. I think we should. Since we're a little low, so we're going to bring out a fairy. 
to replenish some of our hearts right here and then keep dropping bombs on this dude what you want fool what you want keep jumping and dodging all these tiles and like, get out of my face he actually went over here hey yo they're knocking all my stuff leave me alone he's knocking all my bombs everywhere ah what you want no oh my lord there we go take another hit he was start sending like some holes and everything which is crazy like look at this you just gotta keep dodging until that bomb goes off and i believe we are almost done with this boss if i drop this last bomb i believe last bomb hopefully this guy's starting to do his phase yeah that is his second phase so that's how you know you're getting close to beating him okay listen up if the wind fish wakes up everything on the island will be gone forever and i do mean everything and then he dies so we're starting to learn more and more about the wind fish which is crazy i love this story so much so only way to find out is to actually awaken the wind fish there we go, defeating the boss and the 600, we grab ourselves a full heart container, which will give us 14 hearts and replenish our hearts, which is awesome, guys. We're killing this game. Now we can make our way up here and grab the sixth instrument, which is the Coral Triangle. Let's go. Let's play some jams, Link. Get it, baby. Let's get it. Let's see what you got, big dog. Give me a little dong, dong, dong. Ooh. Mmm. Let's go, Link. Let's go, dude. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. One more instrument left, guys. One more dungeon. Let's get it, yo. I've been having so much fun with this game. Let's see what our hint is. Mountain. Tells us to go to the mountain. That's where we gotta go next. Something calls from the mountain. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I actually love the mountain area, too. It's awesome. I can't wait to see it all like, remastered and everything. It's gonna look beautiful. It's gonna look awesome. And Mr. Al comes out here, gives us a quick speech before we end off this video. Let's see what he's got to say. Hoot, the many monsters of this island fear that the windfish is about to awaken. The monster's power is real. They may conquer the island and destroy their foes. That day may come soon. Now go to the mountain tower. Fly like a bird. Hoot, hoot. Oh, guys, that's crazy. He's saying that so, like, the enemies are going to get stronger. They're going to start coming for us because they know the windfish is going to be awakened. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's episode. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. As in the next episode, we're going to be collecting things and making our way up to the mountain. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.